Opening day for the Oakland A's is Monday and there will be more than just people in the stands. The Coliseum has been overrun by feral cats who apparently saw the pandemic years as an opportunity to grow their ranks, so to speak. KTV's Ann Rubin is live with the tales for us this evening and, and authorities had a meeting to discuss the issue today and they say their plan to deal with the cats is actually working. It's just working slowly. The plan is to spay and neuter the adults and adopt out the kittens, but the A's will have to share the Coliseum with the cats for the foreseeable future. They've been lurking in the dugouts, feeding in the dumpsters, and, well, reproducing. The Oakland Coliseum has been overrun by feral felines. On the Coliseum site, um, we're talking about probably 50 or so cats, and I always say if you see 50, there are going to be more. At least another 50 to 100 nearby, according to Oakland Animal Services. And so they, along with Island Cat Resources and Adoption, have begun to trap and fix the kitties before releasing them back at the Coliseum. They've been taking these photos as they do. Largely, um, it's in their best interest to stay where they are. Um, but we want to get everybody spayed and neutered so that they stop reproducing. At a meeting today, Coliseum officials discussed the issue, saying the cats have had an unintended benefit. No one's seen a rat there in years. They plan to continue the trap neuter return program indefinitely. If we think we will get this under control, we can live with the cats. Uh, they do good work, uh, but uh, we need to deactivate some of them. We don't need quite as many as we've got on duty right now. It seems, at least for now, the Coliseum cats will become part of the ambience at A's games. And A's president, Dave Cavill, says he's mostly okay with that. As long as they stay off the field during the actual game, that's the one thing, but you never know. That famously happened back in the 90s, prompting then-manager Tony La Russa to adopt the cat and start an animal shelter. As for the current crop, Animal Services says only the kittens will be fit for adoption. The first litters are currently at a foster home, but the A's plan to do their part in organizing Coliseum kitten adoption events when the time is right. It's happened before. I think there are many more people who are going to be positively impacted by these kittens, and we look forward to doing our part and ensuring that they find families uh, to be with. Officials with Animal Services say this won't be a quick fix. They've only spayed and neutered about 20 cats so far. No word on when the kitten adoptions might happen. They say this is just the beginning of kitten season. Andre? Unique way of dealing with uh, with the problem at the Coliseum. Andrew, we reporting for us live at the Coliseum, and thank you.